Hey, welcome back to Mark's Garage channel. I haven't posted anything in a couple weeks. Uh, I put some shorts out. If you looked at those, you know I was in Alaska on vacation. Um, back on the generator. Haven't touched it since I left for Alaska. Now I'm back. It's a very nice cruise. I will say this. All airlines suck. We got delayed going out there. We got delayed coming back. I'm lucky we made the cruise ship in Vancouver. And I'm grateful that we were able to get there, but these airlines are just the worst. All of them. Every one of them. So, I won't name any names for airlines. But I got to show you what I got. So, check this out. I'm not big on buying t-shirts and refrigerator magnets and other junk. But I did find this. An Alaska license plate and the uh, trim that goes around it. It was in a gift shop. They're used or authentic plates. They probably charged me way too much for it because I'm a tourist, but I like it. I'm going to put it up in my garage with the rest of my plates that are up in the ceiling here. And I'll get you caught up on what's going on with the generator. I was hoping I would never have to make another generator video again. That everything would fix itself while I was gone, but that didn't happen. But uh, what I ended up doing is that's the original generator that never worked. I took the brushes out of that and I put it into the donor generator, which stopped working recently. So let me also mention this about generators. I know I went through a whole thing about changing over to 12 volts, but a few people, Joe Sousa in particular, and another restoration guy I met at a car show yesterday, and someone else through YouTube reached out and said, hey, keep it original. You don't need to go to 12 volts. I know 12 volts would make it a lot easier to start and all that, but I really need to get this generator working. So what I've done is change the brushes and I would put this current to this and that generator works, it spins. So the big test now is to put it in and see if it works in the truck. So stand by while I do that. So now I'm all set to put the generator back in See, I got a step stool, so I have to stand on that stool, lean over that fender, reach way down towards the engine with that heavy generator and get it lined up and put the whole uh, the bolts through the holes with uh, basically one hand. But uh, I want to mention again, thanks to Joe for reaching out to me and really, you know, telling me that these generators are pretty simple and I can probably figure out how to fix it. And, Appears right now to be the brushes, but you know the proof is in after I install it and if it runs and it runs for more than 30 minutes and works for more than 30 minutes. We'll see. So let me get that installed and then we'll test it again. I don't know if you can tell, but it's much later in the day now. So what happened is I went to start the truck and I only got a few cranks out of the uh, starter. So I went to Advanced Auto and I've got a brand new battery. The battery I had said full charge but I only got a few cranks out of it now it could be the starter wouldn't surprise me if it is but the battery was under warranty so I got a brand new one so let's see if this will start up now ignition's on uh, a little gas yeah that's cranking a lot more than the other one was going to start. It's going to take a sec, that's all. Come on. One more gas, one more choke. Man, I hate to starting fluid in it or something like that because I usually don't have to do something like that. It usually just starts right up. But uh, pull the choke out again. Tap the gas once. There it goes. What's not happening though, it doesn't appear to be charging. 
So even though I got that generator to spin, it still doesn't seem to be charging. So what I think I'm going to do now is go and buy another generator from Classic. I got my money back on the first one. That's a brand new regulator. It's a brand new battery. What else is there but a generator? But uh, before I do that, I'll probably pull this generator out and test it one more time and see if it'll spin. But for whatever reason, it's not generating. So I was going to call it a night, but I, I just got to do this one other thing to, to put my mind at ease. So I disconnected the, the belt from the generator. Generator's down there. See, I got the positive wire going to the ground because this is a positive ground truck. I don't know if you can see them. I got a jumper going between the field and the and the armature. And now I'm going to take the negative wire and put it on there. And see, nothing happens. So, oh, look at that. It works. That's interesting. It works when I put it on the armature, not the field. But they they're, they got a jumper, so maybe that's a bad jumper. I should test that, but still. It spins, but it doesn't generate electricity, according to the amp, amp meter, which just for the record, when I turn the lights on, it, the amp meter does show it's discharging, but it doesn't show it charging. So this is probably definitely a phone call to, um, to Joe in the Rhode Island. Um, Maybe he could talk me through whatever I'm doing wrong. And he also sent me a link to a video I gotta watch. I gotta see what's going on here. Something's not right. And uh, hopefully I can figure it out. But thanks for watching. And I hope I don't have to show you another generator video again. I can get this thing going. There's some car shows I wanna go to that are coming up. And, you know, I like being a spectator, but I'd, I'd rather be a spectator with my truck in the parking lot and people looking at it. So talk to you later.